Alright YouTubers, well using Femora X or Femora 10, I'm going to show you how to do the zombie eye effect using the motion track. It's fairly simple and you can go on the internet and get green screens or make your own. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it, but it's pretty simple. <clears throat> go up here and grab some stock footage of yourself. Just drag it down to your timeline. And you can crop out anything you want. I'll just leave this up here as you can see here. And then just uh, double click on it. And that's going to bring you up to your motion uh, tracking screen. Put a checkbox and hit. And for the eye, come over and put it over your eye best you can. Now you have to play around with this depending on the lighting and how well your camera recorded the image. You just shrink that down just about to where you want it at. And oh, if any of this here is in red before you start the tracking, click this button here to uh, render the view. It makes life easier and it'll usually work. So then after that's all done, you got your tracker set. Come over here and click start tracking. It takes it a few seconds. I see where you are now. And I was actually using this uh, clip here to make an Iron Man mask, but decided to do the zombie one instead. And you can see it tracking. And just let it do its thing. I know this is a little long, but this thing will track as long as as long as the video is so if you got something short it's better to keep it short you can see it lost it there so I gotta go back and redo that section of it and then you click the preview generate button we'll go back and fix that part where it lost the actual track what we'll actually do is just move the tracker down a little further and we'll go back and uh, redo the track. Also it works best too if you don't blink. But I couldn't stop from blinking. Out, but I figured uh, we'll go that way. So you see what I mean? You saw what I mean by the tracker box. So you have to play with it and get it. And if you have to, redo it and redo it. So now you got your red line here. So what you got to do? Go and click that there to render it. That'll smooth everything out, and it makes it better. So when we go to the green screen part and drag and drop that on there. Uh, and show you how to stretch that and position it. Now it's not going to be full Hollywood quality, make more sci-fi, but if you went in and did the masking and stuff like that, then you can get it a lot better than what I'm showing you. This is just for a quick kind of down and dirty. So I already have an eye that I got. It's actually a little app that was on my cell phone. You can't find it now on the Google Play Store. I think they pulled it down. It was called Zombie and been a zombie or something like that. I don't remember what it was. This was like a year ago. Drag that over there and then stretch it out. Most of any of your still pictures you get, you can stretch them. With the Filmora stock ones, and they got some good stock stuff, you cannot stretch them. So now we don't need to uh, correct this here yet because we haven't done anything. So just double click it. Click on the chroma key. And then it's offset. You, oh, no, it ain't offset. There we go. I went the wrong way. So get it to where it's pretty much clear. This one, uh, you can play with it, but it it's kind of a pain to 
get it right on its sweet spot. So I just leave it at its default and then play with this one and get most of the green out and you can feather the edges a little. Now you can check it in the alpha channel and that's about as good as it's going to get because well it's free stuff off the internet. So now then what you want to do is go and resize it. Make sure you're clicked on it. Just grab it and you know kind of bring her down to about eyeball level or what you think your eyeball is going to be. And you can rotate it. Move it there. Maybe move it over just a tad. You want to try to cover your eyes the whites of your eye but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do because it don't give you precise movements so you have to kind of play around with it and get it this is pretty close here so now we'll fix this red line let's click that and hit it go and generate and fix it we'll let it do its thing about done all right then the only thing you got to do after that is click OK double click on that and that brings you back up to your motion track screen down here where it says none click that and also name all your effects you're going to put on here for the motion tracking trust me and just click I that's going to turn red again and do the repeat the same process place in the back. Now this one I'm only going to show you the half side. I actually did the other eye and it's the exact same process. You just do the same thing but you have to save your first video and then bring it back in and then start over and do this eye here. Now some videos I saw for tracking you can make a copy of this one and click the icon there for the eye and not show it but for some reason on my system, maybe it's just mine, the more will crash halfway through the tracking process. 99% of the time I could not get through doing it. So I just save the one track at a time and then build it that way. So now if you just click play, and yeah, you can see it floating there. I had a glitch there because I blinked at the time it was tracking. And like I said, it works better if you don't blink. But yeah, I mean, if you feathered that out or put a mask around it and kind of blended it in more, you can do that. I just recently got the more 10 and have really played around with the masking part of it. But for what it is and what it costs, I mean, it's there's really no other game in town. I mean, there's Hit Films uh, or Adobe. Uh, that's some really high learning curves on how to do all that stuff. So, but yeah, now I'll show you what it looks like with the full both eyes. I see where you are now. didn't invite me.